Today I'm going to be comparing the Sawyer Mini Squeeze water filtration system to the Katadyne Hiker Pro water filter pump. So the first water filter that I got for hiking and camping was this Sawyer Mini Squeeze water filter. There's a couple features about this that I like and there's some things I don't like about this. Some things that I like is that it's really small, it's really lightweight, it's very affordable. It, 18 or $20 or whatever it is. I do like the fact that you can screw this onto a water bottle or you can screw it right onto one of these packs here, these uh, plastic containers. I think that's good if you're gonna be doing more day hike stuff where you really maybe only need one of these or two of these because you, you also brought water with you. I know that it's, it is very effective in keeping out different types of viruses and, and bacteria. And, and I use this on several hikes and, and several camping trips and it's been good. Also comes with a syringe that you can clean it out and flush, flush it out and it comes with a straw that you can put on there and you can put this on your water on your water bottle or you can put it on one of these these containers here and then you can sip right from it and and it's good. The downside of this Sawyer Squeeze system, the the mini and I've seen people with with the larger pro one is that if you're going to be doing extended hiking or extended backcountry camping where several days you you need quite a bit of water where this really kind of is not the most ideal uh, product is that it takes so long to filter through this. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of these, you're going to fill it up with the water that you find, whether it's a lake or a stream or a river or whatever. And then you put this on, you screw that right on there. And then from here, what you do is you squeeze all of this water that you find into either another one of these packets, into a water bottle into a cup. If it's extended hiking and camping, probably into your Camelback, which is like three or four liters, which is quite a bit of water. It takes a very, very long time to squeeze through this filter. And it's kind of the last thing that you want after hiking for 10 miles um, and you're very tired. It's kind of the only downside to, to these Sawyer Squeeze systems. They, I know they're great and I know they're very effective in uh, purifying the water and they break down very well. They're inexpensive, but it just takes so long to filter your water. So just recently on my last trip, I went ahead uh, by the recommendation of somebody at REI to, to try this Katadyne Hiker Pro pump. And let me tell you, this thing made a world of difference. The downside is it's probably three times as heavy as, as this because it is a pump, but it's, I didn't notice it, it's not that heavy. The amount of time it takes to pump and filter the water through this is significantly faster than this. And I'm gonna do a test to kind of compare these two. And it's kind of an unfair comparison because this is a pump um, and this is a squeeze system. Uh, but, but I just wanna do it just to show, uh, j just to give a little reference of, of how much easier it is to, uh, to use this system and how much I really appreciate it after a long day of hiking where I could just use this, get my water within, within you know, a minute or minutes. And the way that this system works is you have your pump here, you have an in valve and an out valve here. What you do is in this bag, it also comes with, this is your clean hose, and this is what I call the dirty hose. Uh, not necessarily that it's dirty, but this is the one that goes into the water source that you're going to be uh, filtering the water from. So you'll take this dirty hose and you put that into the in, and then you take your clean hose here, and the, the clean hose goes into your out here, and then you filter it into, I just filter right into my Camelback, because I don't carry a like Nalgene or anything, I just drink from my Camelback. So, or, but you can go into anything, a water bottle, a Nalgene, anything. You also have this piece here that you can put that on, on there, on the hose, and then this can go right into your, this piece can go right into your Nalgene or uh, water bottle or anything that has that size opening. And that way it stays there and this thing's not kind of flopping around. I just kind of snake this right into my Camelback and 
throw this into the lake or the river, start pumping, and you know, within minutes, I have a three liter Camelback filled with filtered water, which is, it's a game changer. This thing is awesome. There are a couple caveats. It does cost more. This, this one is about $75. So it's, you know, much more expensive than this system. To me, it is well worth the money. What I'm going to do now is just a, just a simple comparison. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fill up my entire Camelback, but I'll, I'll probably just take one of these filter packs here. One of these, one of these uh, packets, 64 ounces. Okay. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to time how long it takes me to filter water through this and fill this up. And then I'm also going to do it with this. And I, I actually just want to see for myself, but also to show you guys just how much faster this is than this. Okay, so we are, we are ready to test these out and time them. Obviously, we know this is much faster, but I just want to see how much faster it is. And start the timer. and stop Woo! there is a little bit left in here but that's that's good enough and i'm i'm done i'm i'm exhausted that was a workout okay so now we are going to do the catadine hiker pro pump and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this i have a fish bowl filled with water that's going to simulate our water source that we find and i'm going to be filtering in the same size the 64 ounce uh pack here that I did with this. So I'm gonna start the timer right now. Here we go. And stop. All right, so you can see that that was substantially faster. Um, and this is actually even filled more. I filled it all the way to the brim. I mean, there you go. The, the proof is kind of in the pudding of how much faster and easier that is to do. So final thoughts on these two systems. Um, you know, clearly the pump is going to be much faster. Uh, so it was a little bit of a, an unfair competition, but I just wanted to see just how much faster it was. The price difference, this is around $75. This is around 20, much more expensive. Also, this is much heavier. It's about three times heavier than this, you know, this little system here. But I did not notice this being a burden in my pack. So for me, I, I'm very happy that I did upgrade and this is what I use when I when I hike and camp now, especially um, longer backpacking trips that are several days. I don't mean to and I don't want to kind of bash the Sawyer Squeeze systems because they are great and they, and they are, you know, classic great system that everybody should have, right? Um, it's just so much faster and easier to use this system and makes makes life when you're camping uh, uh, and hiking much much better i will say i would recommend if you're going to be hiking or backpacking with multiple people that um one person carries this that's what that's what i did on my last trip i carried this and i generally did all the water filtering and then my friend had this very lightweight backup system you know in his bag just in case we needed a backup. It's always good to have that and it's light enough. So that's what I would, I would recommend. If you, if you do have a lighter pack, then just take both. And I actually, I have taken both and this is light enough that it doesn't really make a big difference. Um, it may not be a bad option. If this were to, if this pump or something were to break, you know, you always do have that as a backup, but you know, it's all personal choice. But for me, this is definitely the clear winner and and what I like to use if I have the option. And this is, it's the Catadyne Hiker Pro pump. This one here is the Sawyer Mini Squeeze filter. And I'll have both of these with links in the description that you can check out.